You take some chocolate and some lobster and some eggs and some pie. The dark side of Harajuku Hira, Hira, style. This is so cute, but what, what does is it this? say? I want to die. I want to die. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Oh. What is this? Well, I've never been afraid to take a few risks in the name of fashion. There is a new style popping up in Tokyo that's frankly a little scary. Yeah, probably all the fucking American weebs going over there thinking that they have a chance and they're like, oh, I can't wait to go to Japan because the age of consent's 13. You know what I mean? You gotta, be, you gotta be careful about white people, bro. In Japan, conformity and rigidity inform everything from social customs to the way people dress. Standing out is not exactly something everyone strives for. Here on Takashita Street, style is defined by defying norms. But a new look is- They're also kind of racist over there. I mean, we are here too, but I think it's worse, my understanding. <laughs> it's challenging one of Japan's deepest taboos, depression and mental illness. The style- Oh my God, how could you be depressed? You're so pretty. <laughs> now take your shirt off. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying, ladies? You've heard that before. You've heard that guy. You know what I'm saying. It's called Yami Kawaii, and it means sick cute. Can fashion break the silence that surrounds an epidemic? My first question. What exactly is Yami Kawaii? What does it look like? To that, find I out, guess. I tracked down Kua, an artist and influencer with over 56,000 followers on Instagram. Wow. Yumi Kawaii wa pastel wo... This was made in 2018. I don't... <laughs> Wait a minute, didn't COVID... St this, you know, it's just so funny because I'm watching this. I'm like, oh, they're wearing a mask. But then I remember, this is from 2018. I don't think COVID was a thing then. At least not this version of it. Right? We started in 2020. I think it did because that's when I blew up. Um, like as an influencer or influencer, well, like as content creator, and also um, obesity wise. Um, but there's a lot of masks due to pollution. They always wear masks there. Okay. Shit, speak English. You know what I'm saying, guys? Like, this is America. <laughs> oh, I just don't understand what I'm saying anymore. Kawaii is the Japanese word for cute. Yume kawaii means cute, like a dream. Oh. Yami kawaii is what happens when Yume goes dark. Fans are drawn to Yami kawaii, but honestly, I just don't get it. <laughs> Me neither, sister. I really do not understand this. I don't know why people, I know that there's people attracted to that. I don't get it. Bro, I just don't get it. Those are the same people that are like, I know she looks 13, but actually, she's a thousand years old when it comes to like any anime. It's like, okay, bro, like, take a chill pill. You know what I'm saying? To better understand the appeal. I guess they're like, they're like, they said they're in Japan. They're Japanese, uh, Japanese emo girls. That's pretty much it. Okay. I'm going to. Yeah, I don't like emo girls. I used to when I was younger, I guess, but that shit's like lame. Like, grow up. You know what I'm saying? To visit a pioneer of the look. An artist named Bisco. Now I like the older emo girls are turning more into like bikerish type girls, you know, with like tattoos and shit. Like you, you could tell they used to be emo, but now they've matured. Those, that that's hot. But. But then it says I love you. I love you. Cute. Okay. So you're changing your mind a lot. でも可愛いから許されるそうなんか可愛いんだけどあの言ってる言葉が辛辣っていうそのギャップがあの受けててそれがなんかヤミ可愛いかなって私は思ってますそうなんですよ she gets her Wait, she has a fucking razor blade. Oh my god. <laughs> it's fucked up. Bro, what the fuck? Holy shit. Name from Minhera, a term that refers to people who But it's one of those razors that like 
that of Bisco's comic. I have one of these razors, and like it's cool because if it breaks, you could just like kind of like or it dulls, you just pop the tip off and you break it to the next piece. But like I accidentally broke like four of mine off at once because I was trying to cut something that I shouldn't have been trying to. I was trying to get like my co concrete weight plates out of the thing, so like it just upset me. No. She gets her name from Minhera, a term that refers to people who suffer from mental illness. Yeah. Oh, it sounds like they are. It's their when mental illness is like a popularized like thing. Listen, I think that we definitely need resources for mental illness. I think it'd be great if everybody had access to to like a mental health professional. I think that's perfectly great. Yeah, they're fucking arms bandaged too. What the fuck? And they have cut marks. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Anyway, I think it's great that people are like talking more about their mental health issues. I don't think that like this is the right way to be doing it. Like I know it seems cute and people who are fucking suicidal probably are like, oh sorry, I'm having a little agita. Probably identify with it in some capacity, but also people tend to over identify with these things and then they start romanticizing suicide, yeah. And that becomes like a not a not a good thing. But the music bops. あの、見た目が可愛くて、あの、好きになってくれる人が多くて、あの、この可愛いものの中に病んでいるものが含まれてるっていうのが私が大好きなアニメ性を持つなんかコンテンツなんです。それが私の表現してる闇可愛いで。
What the fuck's happening? Is this a, is this is this intentional? What the fuck? Why is this? Did we just catch, did we catch a ghost sighting on camera? Like, what the fuck, dude? This is scaring me, bro. He, this, wait, hold on. This is insane. Did he create this girl? He created this girl character? Is that what we're saying? Did he design this? Is this the, the going theory that he designed this girl because he's a ghost trying to make more young people take their own lives? Bro, this is insane. We just literally uncovered a Japanese ghost story. This is fucking horrific. やっぱりあの現実逃避っていうのはある意味セラピーなので、ビジネスになっちゃったので、結構お仕事として頑張ってる感じではあるんですけど、あのもちろんセラピーの部分あると思います。Yami is fashion, but it's also a coping mechanism for complex emotions. I wanted to know if other people were using. Bro, that's a McDonald's cart. Mechanism for complex emotions. Hey yo, I kind of want some Mickey D's tonight, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I bet their food is healthier in Japan, though. Over here, we we are also. They said that suicide has like one of the highest like attempt rates or whatever. America's attempt rates are a lot higher than people say. We just do it slowly, like rather than like you know like doing something you know to take it, do it instantly. We're fucking downing like fucking gallons of McDonald's a day. It's insane. You know what I'm saying? Like honestly, at this point, I don't know how why there hasn't been like a restaurant in America called like Shakey's or something where they just put food and your drink in a blender and they blend it together and you just like fucking like maybe even just inject it directly into your fucking veins. Because like that we're just we are just fucking dying, bro. It's crazy. I wonder how Japan looks at us. Crazy. I wanted to know if other people were using fashion in this heart attack grill, bro. Heart attack grill's not even as that bad. Like it's bad, but like it's just a slightly worse than all fast food restaurants. You know what I'm saying? Same way. They're just honest about it. All right. This is scary. <laughs> <laughs> wasted water. Hanayo, a former teenage model, might have some insight. She was once a finalist in the nationwide Miss ID competition, an alternative beauty pageant that celebrates differences. Until she was just. She looks similar. I, I was gonna be like, she looks the same as like any other kawaii person, but then I was like, wait, if I say she looks the same, that's gonna come off as racist because I'm saying all Japanese people look the same. <laughs> but she I don't I just don't understand what alternative style looks like in Japan cuz this looks like totally normal in America to me. I don't know. Disqualified for discussing her suicidal past. That's fucking crazy. Hey, cat buffets, dude. We need a cat buffet in America. What do you feel when you come here? It's nice to meet you. Bro, I could never go to like a buffet like this because people don't know this about me. When I go into rooms with animals, I stomp on the floor. I go, ah! And I put my arms out in a threatening way just to fuck with the animals. And they all go, they all jump back. So I, I really couldn't go here. It's, it's, I do it in every house. Like, I'll probably do like a, like a, like a stomp like this, like, 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 boom, 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 and like, ah! And I'll try to like make them fucking freak out, you know? <laughs> did, did you say you had multiple attempts? Yes. <laughs> I also hit my head and lost some memories. What the fuck does that mean? So she doesn't even remember doing it? Openness won her fans on social media and has won her a new kind of support system. I kind of want this. I want to win this dog or whatever this is. That's kind of cute. You feel like there are a lot of people who feel the same way that you do. 
I'm not. Dude, look at this picture. It's fucked up. <laughs> what the fuck? It looks like a, a girl, like probably OD'd or something. I don't know. Yes, I think so. I'm not sure. 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 She uses social media to create a community where she feels free to talk about her art, her clothes, and her raw emotions. You have a lot of pink. Yeah, I have a pink. Yeah. Do you dress to make yourself happy? Or do you dress to make other people happy? I get dressed to make other people happy. Cause like realistically speaking, bro, I don't know. I don't even. I, if I could, I wouldn't have even gotten dressed for this stream. Like I just walk around in my underwear all the time, so I get dressed to make other people happy. Um, and but I do dress up though. I like I like to dress myself though. I look nice. I look kind of handsome in this purple shirt. I think so. You know, it's just I just think I look handsome. So. So you to This amazing. <laughs> Sex suicide baby. Sex. What? The sex suicide baby? What the fuck? Suicide baby. Yeah, it feels bad to hide who you are, right? Hi. What's one thing that you want people to know when they hear your story? That's a little vague. <laughs> That's fucked up. She's like, I want any of my viewers to think about that are thinking of taking their life to think about the consequences of a of, 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 see the consequences of a failed attempt and reconsider. It's not a good point. It's not a good thing to say. That's very open to interpretation. I found myself uh, opening things up to interpretation. My wife's into rocks. I've talked about it a few times, right? She's like the gems. I have a dragon blood jasper. Pretty cool. I'm actually starting to get into it. And I told this story before, but I'm going to tell it like quick again. I saw a couple. I saw one myself, a rock bracelet, and I I went to grab it, and I was like, I want this. You know, I was it was like a blue color. I was drawn to it. Uh, the woman's even said like, oh, it has like particular properties that I was like, wow, I actually want those properties. Like that's something I I was like, I like I interpreted it as like I wanted it. I was drawn to it because I need those properties in my life. Isn't that incredible? And then I, it broke the second I put it on my wrist because I have a huge fucking hand. And so that made me feel like, uh, like, and, and, and deciding to buy this, the, the bracelet for me was like a big move because like I felt like I was be I was activating my femininity a little more. I even mean, asked my wife, I said, I said, is this, is this too feminine? And she was like, no, you should do it. So I was like, cool. So I put it on and broke instantly. That's, uh, now I interpret that as God saying, stop, stop trying to be feminine. So, you know what I mean? Like everything's open to interpretation. So saying like, hey, <laughs> see the consequence of a failed attempt? Now to me, that means, hey, don't take your life. To other people, it might say, like, just don't, if you're going to do it, commit, you know, which is not a good message. So, Mama Goddess hasn't made the bracelet. She doesn't love me anymore. Hanayo sees cute clothes as a form of therapy. Maybe that feeling isn't an accident. Joshua Paul Dale. I mean, people like to dress nice to feel good, like feeling good. You know what I mean? Professor who specializes in the impact of kawaii culture. Bro, what did this just say? Joshua Paul Dale. Joshua is a Paul Dale. Who specializes? Are you fucking kidding me, Joshua Paul Dale? This is the whitest man I've ever seen. Professor Dale, Kaiwa kawaii. Sorry, kawaii culture expert. Dude, what was you? What's your backstory, bro? How many? How many? How many hentai's have you seen, bro? How many animes have you watched, bro? What are you doing? How are you gonna be a white man that specializes in cute Japanese shit? That's just fucking weird, dude. That's just weird, bro. That's just fucking weird. Specializes in the impact of kawaii culture. Cute can mean clever in English, so we can look at somebody and say, "Oh, that's cute," or "Don't be cute." But kawaii in Japan doesn't have that negative. Con oh, I, I guess you could say like, "Don't be cute with me." Like, yeah, I guess so. Sure. Connotation to it. It's simply a pure, like, happy feeling of cuteness. So instead of like, you look kawaii, it's like, I feel kawaii because yeah. of how you are. Yeah. yeah. When you express kawaii, you're. Yes, you could feel cute. I don't really get it. What's the difference? Expressing a desire to appeal to other people, to get closer to other people, and uh, expressing a desire for healing. 
So maybe that can help people with those dark and more difficult issues that can't be you know, openly expressed. Guess, in guess what, Dale? I don't think it's that deep, bro. It's not that deep. You're a fucking weirdo. Society. Talking openly about painful experiences feels better than keeping it in. Sure. When you talk, powerful things can happen. そう<笑> I see now that Yami Kawaii can help people heal. People like Bisco's number one fan. <laughs> so, it's a fucking razor blade. Oh my God. <sighs> I think I. <laughs> Listen, all I'm going to say is that when I got braces, they, they, made one, my, they made me feel more confident. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's all, that's all I have to say. You know, it's not a bad move. You adults can get braces too. You know? So I came to Tokyo expecting to learn something about this new style of subculture. What I really didn't expect to learn is something about love. You know, in the United States, asking for love is... Oh, are teeth like that actually part of their beauty standards? Oh, okay. Well, fuck me then. Never mind. Isn't really a thing that we're very comfortable with doing. But in Japan, it's pervasive. It's normalized. It's kawaii. And especially when you have a hard time practicing self-love, asking for love is a really, really brave act. And that's what yami kawaii is at the end of the day. And that's pretty rad. I was like, wow, that was nice. And then it says, I'd kill you. What the fuck? Wow, that was uh, very interesting, dude. Ra radical video, bro. What did we learn today, guys? That I, I don't, um, I don't know. I got to take a piss is what we learned, I think.